I am in for a C56 exploration and removal of a plate on an old fusion, and then C67 exploration and removal of hardware of a failed fusion with either an artificial disc, is what we're hoping for, or a fusion. But the disc is what we've been praying for. I've had many surgeries with Dr. Bray. I broke my back in 2010 and he repaired it and fused my L5S1, so I'm basically a terminator. Melissa had a fusion in her neck by me many years ago and did fine for many years. And more recently had problems that developed, as can happen, adjacent to the fusion level below. When it deteriorated, she was operated on, not here unfortunately, and a piece was put in that's made of plastic to try to affect a fusion the level below her disc. Unfortunately, it didn't fuse, and she had broken, loosened hardware in there that was uh, causing her a lot of pain. In a bit of a complicated operation, we went in, took out all the hardware, cleaned up the hole, and got an artificial disc in where it had never fused, and now her neck has motion, and uh, she'll regain her motion, and hopefully get rid of a lot of her pain. But she's doing real well. We kind of turn back the clock for her from a fusion, which doesn't move, to a disc replacement, which mimics the normal anatomy. So I think we had a great success structurally and a great success neurologically in opening things up, and I think she'll do great. I feel great. It couldn't have been a more perfect outcome and now I don't have to worry about any layers below. And the thing that was concerning was if he'd had to fuse it, I would be having more surgeries. I would say to anyone, if you can swing getting here and getting to him, he is hands down the greatest surgeon. It's like a new lease on life.